Being an independent boss lady is hard, especially when the love of your life ran away four years ago to join the military because of something you did or something he did. I have no idea. We don't know the past yet. It's still hidden to us. But we have a whole bunch of people protecting us behind the scenes and it all has to do with the same guy who left us, Baron. Now, what is his deal? Why is he not with us? Why is he not protecting us personally? And what are we going to do about it? And by we, I mean you guys, me and Emma. Because Emma hired a private detective and they gave her all the information that she needs to know. And now we got an untraceable phone, guys. We have a burner phone from this guy, Ty, who's also our friend. So so what's going to happen? Hmm? Well, this is Mafia's Lost Angel Chapter 4. And we have Lord Byron back. Why do you always get so hyper in front of the camera? He just ate, so I'm trying not to shake him too much. Say hi to everyone. Say hello, my baby. So cute. Look at him, he's growing so much. Okay, 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 calm down. Anyway, we're purring. We love you guys. Hope you enjoy this story. Anyway, since he's super hyper, I'm gonna let him go play around and give this video a like and let's continue the episode. So get this guys, I found out something crazy. So Mafia's Lost Angel is actually a sequel to Mafia's Fallen Angel. And Fallen Angel is about Luna and Key and Shirley and how they got together. So, remember when I said in the previous chapter how I want to know how Kian and Luna got together? Guys, our prayers have been answered. So, now I need your advice, guys. Should I continue this story and then we should do the prequel, which is Mafia's Fallen Angel? Or should I pause this and then we should start with Mafia's Fallen Angel and then once we're finished that, continue Mafia's Lost Angel? So let me know in the comments below. But while you guys decide, I'm going to continue this chapter of Mafia's Lost Angel. So let's go. You better not be involved in illegal stuff, doll. <sighs> Thanks for the phone. I love how Emma dresses. Don't worry, Ty, I know what I'm doing. Do we though? Do we know what we're doing? Does Luna know about all of this? I'm gonna say keep it confidential. Yeah, sure she does. No, no, we have to make sure, if, if he knows that Luna knows, that means we're okay. But if we say she doesn't, then he's gonna be sketched out, right? So we're gonna say, yeah, she does, totally. You can't tell me? No, not yet at least. Fine, have it your way. Make sure you destroy the phone after you finish whatever you need to do. Okay, gotcha. Miss Emma, the new collection is ready. Thank you. When's the next fashion show? Next week. I love the overalls he's wearing though, not gonna lie. <laughs> Wanna come with me and see the latest collection? Whoa, are you serious? You never let people see the latest collection until the fashion shows. Wow, I guess you're really interested in fashion time? Let's go, I don't have all day. You're the boss doll. Meanwhile, back in the military base, in Losing Town or whatever it was called, what are you doing, mate? Working, do you need anything? The girl is back. She's with a general? Yeah. Go find Spencer and listen in on them. What about you? I'm busy, mate, I'll find you later. Are you in a bad mood? Can't you tell? Get out! I guess you are. Aw, someone's sensitive. How did she find me? Oh my god, he knows that I found him? Oh my god! Emma, baby, what did you do? I read the messages six times. My heart is racing, my body is weak, my eyes in tears. My little biscuit found me. Yes, she did. Your little biscuit, your little cracker found you. Dear Baron, when we were little, we used to play hide and seek all the time. Now it seems like we do the same thing. I'm doing the counting while you hide. The only difference is that I've been counting for years and you're still hidden. I blame myself for all the sadness I'm going through. If only I'd been strong enough back then to keep you here. But what's done is done. I've been dreaming of this day, the day that I can finally say something to you. I'm not sure if this email will get to you, but if it does, please answer me back. I have so many questions to ask, so many things to tell you. When you left, you took my heart with you. Nothing is the same without you. I just want to go back in time and accept your proposal about moving in together. I want to go back in time and scream how much I love you. You can't do this to us, Baron. You need to come back. We are not children anymore. Please end it and come back to us. It's been four years, four agonizing years. You didn't contact me once. Do you think I deserve the silent treatment? Probably, but still, I think it's time we face our demons, Baron. I want to know how you are. Okay, now that my anger is gone, I have to tell you this. I'm sorry. I'm truly sorry for everything. 
I love you, stay safe, come back home. I'm gonna say I love you, so you know, it really gets them going. I love you, yours forever, Emma. No, 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 Lord. No, this isn't happening. She can't do this to me. She put herself in danger the first moment her tiny fingers texted this message to me. Oh, what did I do? What happened? Any news? It's been two weeks. What if he doesn't want to answer back? You don't know that, Emma. Maybe you forgot about me. You saw the mail Baron sent to Kian. He's looking after you. Then why is he not answering back? Calm down, your employees are watching us. I am calm. You're not calm, you're mad. You're losing focus. You need to understand that even if he sees the mail, he can answer you straight away. Of all the places in the world, why did he go there? I searched online, you won't believe your eyes, Luna. People die there from starvation, disease, conflicts. Even children have guns to defend themselves. Most of them live in a small house with no doors. Houses made with clay or God knows what. Wait a minute, do you know what Baron is? Lost in town. Oh, lost in town. Oh, it's like a losing town. Ugh. Okay, my dyslexia is really getting to me, guys. Lost in town. Oh no, are you serious? Don't ask me how I know. It all makes sense now. What? His mom, I mean Elle, she does charity work all over the world. She helped so many people in Losting Town. My mom told me a story about a woman with five children who lost her husband in a fight. Since then, Elle sends money to her monthly. Of course he chose Losting Town. He knew where he's going and what to expect. What else do you know? About the place where Elle's work. Both. I remember Kian told me some things about Losting Town. Losting Town is a country where gold speaks. If you have gold, you have power. Kian knows where Baron is and he even mentioned to me a few times, but I didn't put the pieces together. Of course he knows, your husband knows everything. What about Elle? If Zeth knows, then I suppose she also knows. He won't hide it from her, she's too clever. Amiga, Losting Town is not a democratic country. Some laws and principles aren't what we're used to. Baron is there. What if he's in some sort of trouble? If Baron is sending guns to Keen, then I suppose he has authority over there. The boy's not stupid. He knows what he's doing. Relax, you're so negative. You know Baron, he's down for whatever Lost in Town has to offer. I'm scared for him. I'm feeling this pain in my chest like I'm the only one responsible for his leaving. Hey, can you stop? He made his own decision back then. And he made the choice to stay, too. If only our backgrounds would have been different. Ooh, Story Mafia's Fallen Angel. Yeah, see? See, you guys, a prequel! They say the greatest love stories are the most painful ones. Take me and Kian, for example. You know our love story was a roller coaster back then, still is sometimes. I don't know what to expect the moment he sets one foot outside of the house. Yet we make the best of every single day. I know your story is one to remember for a lifetime. I'm happy for you and I respect Kian for making you happy. One day you'll find your happiness too, Amiga. Count on it. That I'm sure of. Your story with Baron isn't done yet. I truly hope we can work through this mess. You will. Oh my god. Are we gonna go and follow him or what? Because he's not answering us. Fatima, Fatima, where is this woman when I need her? Ugh, why do I have a housekeeper who doesn't answer when I call her? Oh, babe, what's wrong? Fatima, what's going on? Why are you crying? Did something happen when I wasn't home? I'm sorry, Miss Emma. I'm sorry, I... Comfort her, be sympathetic to her. Well, I'm gonna comfort the woman. You can talk to me. I know I'm not the best person to work for, but if I did something that... No, I'm not crying because of you. <gasps> what happened? One of my children is sick. He's very sick. Hold on a minute. You have children? I've got two children back home. That's why I'm working for you. <gasps> they need money to survive. Please don't fire me. I promise I'll get work done in no time. I'm gonna say I'm just surprised, girl. That's great. <laughs> No, nobody's going to fire you, Fatima. I'm just surprised. I didn't know you have children. I have two beautiful children. My mother's taking care of them. She called me from the hospital. My baby boy is dying and I don't know what to do. <gasps> you should go to the hospital. Come on, I'll drive you there. Miss Emma, my children are here in England. What? Where are they? Are they in Losting Town? Are they in Losting Town? I'm from Losting Town. I knew it. <laughs> Yay, we're going to Losting Town. <laughs> I am agreed here to provide a better life for them. Um, W-H-A-T? 
Your family lives in Losting Town? You are from Losting Town? Yes, please don't fire me. I know I can't get back to them. I won't ask for days off. I'm just scared that my boy will die without me seeing him one more time. Fatima, listen to me. Go right now and pack your stuff because we're both going. For your son, that is. Go right now and pack your stuff. No, Miss Emma, please, if you fire me, then I'm... Stop speaking and listen to me. You are going to go to your children and I'm coming with you. What? But why? I don't understand. I'll explain everything later. You can be my guide in Losting Town, so fair trade. Let's go. Now go and pack your things. We are leaving tomorrow night. I don't understand. Are you sure, Miss Emma? Yes. One more thing. Nobody can find out we're going to Losting Town. Nobody. This is between you and me, okay? If someone finds out, they will stop me from going there. I want the whole soul. I don't even understand what's going on. I'm grateful for what you do to me and my family, but you don't have to. It's not just about you, honey. I want to go there. No, I'm gonna say, I must go there. I must go there. Look, I'll help you save your son if you help me get there. Okay. Okay, guys, we're ready. Please don't change your mind. Girl, please. I'll do whatever it takes to see my son. I won't. We're going to Losting Town. Lord, I'm going to Losting Town. What am I gonna do? Okay. Next chapter, because I need to know if we get to Losting Town. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm leaving something for someone. Not? I don't even want to hear about this. I will erase the last 10 minutes out of my head. Natty, you know me since I was born. You know what kind of person I am. When I want something, I won't quit until I achieve it. Look, this is me asking you for a little favor. Two favors, okay? Big deal. I don't want to take your place. The idea of you going there gives me chills. The whole thing scares me. Come on, Natty, you can do this. Who's Natty? Nat, you know the drill. It's not the first time. Are we twins or something? When I was unwell, you took my place, and let's be clear, while you did a great job and were rewarded with $1 million, you led one of the most notorious collections out ever in the history of the company. Plus, the people who work for me would be over the moon because I suck. It's a win-win. I don't see the problem. The problem? You don't see it? You can lie to everyone. What if something happens to you? Your father could come after me with a million different ways. I don't even want to think about it. Guess I just need to learn how to lie like a pro. I'm doing the right thing. I'm scared too, okay? Because <laughs> I am. Look, I'm frightened too, but you remember what you said the day Baron left? You were almost in tears when you told me that I didn't fight for our love. That I was weak by letting him go. You said I was the one who never gave enough. Now is the time I change that. Now is the time I become brave. I need to find him or else I'll end up in a mental hospital. He's your cousin for heaven's sake. Wait, what? He's my cousin? Wait, what? Huh? Oh my god. No. No. He's not. He was adopted at age four. My dad's brother treated him like a true child, but for me and Baron, we were never seen as cousins. Why do you bring this up? Okay, thank God I was like, cousins? Ugh. You know exactly what happened between me and Baron. I'm sorry, I know. I just don't want you to end up hurt or brokenhearted again. My heart never healed. I'm not going to get hurt. Fatima knows the place. Once I'm with Baron, he'll keep me safe. Girl, that is um, a lot of confidence there for a guy who didn't email you back, okay? Or hasn't spoken to you in four years. What about Jojo? She's not going to accept it and neither is your dad. Well, I guess I need another favor. <sighs> you must be kidding me. Help me just this once. I promise this is the last time. Oh, Dios mio. Yes. Let's go. Mom, Dad, I'm home. <gasps> hey, Ma. Sweetie. Oh, I'm so happy you stopped by. Your dad was about to call you. Nick, move your butt downstairs. Emma's home. Hi, Natty. How are you? I'm... <clears throat> I'm... I'm great. <laughs> She's here because we have something to tell you both. <gasps> Oh, that is handsome. Okay, hello, father. Princessa, come hug me. I hardly see you these days. Daddy, hi. Are you well? Dad, you look great. Te extraño mucho. I have no idea what that means, but yes. Lunch is almost ready. We won't stay for lunch, Jojo. What? Why not? Is everything okay? You seem tense, princess. Well, actually, she wants to take a class in America for one month. Not? I barely see you, honey. Now you want to go to America for a month? Nick, say something. What kind of class? Don't even consider it. She's not going. Here we go. The story of my life. She already paid for it. I'm taking care of her company until she's back. 
You said you were busy with the new fashion show. I don't understand. Improvise something smart. Keep it basic. True, but I applied a long time ago and they only accept five students a year. My chances were low, but I made it. That's why I must go. Honey, you're doing great. You learned everything about fashion since you were little. Natty has the experience you need. You can always ask her for anything. Plus, there are classes you took with Jamie, who's also a fabulous fashion designer. I don't understand why you need more when you're already doing great. Exactly my thoughts. You know her. She's obsessed with the power of knowledge. Since she was little, she was never satisfied. Emma's a damn machine. Can you reconsider it? I think you need a break. You don't even have private life. She doesn't need a boyfriend, not under my watch. Okay, stop it, both of you. This is me taking a break. I'm going to America for one month. I will enjoy myself there, plus I will take the class I always dreamed about. Win, win. You aren't going to change your mind, are you? She's like you, Jojo, headstrong. I love you both. Please don't freak out. We can talk every day. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> I mean, when I'm not studying. Take a bodyguard with you. I won't let you go alone. What? No, I'm fine. I'm an adult. I can take care of myself. Take a bodyguard or you're not going. She will. I promise you. That's better. Why bother telling us when you already made up your mind? It's not like you asked us for the permission. You always have it your way. Aw, parents. Jojo, don't keep the fire going. She's already dealing with too much. I think a break is exactly what she needs. See, if dad can understand me, why can't you, mom? <sighs> oh my god. That went well. Are you crazy? I can't take a bodyguard with me. Thank God you're rich and can afford to pay for his time in silence. I don't understand. Roger will help us find a guy who can come with you and also keep it a secret. Wait a minute, have you spoken with Roger lately? Roger and Natty broke up years ago. Since then, they lost the connection. Natty pierced his heart, Roger exposed hers. Oh. Everyone knew they were made for each other, but they didn't make it in the end. Okay. Natty broke two engagements lately. She wasn't satisfied with any of the guys she dated. Roger disappeared from our lives years ago. Where did you go, Roger? He called me. Whoa, when? One week after I broke my engagement to Ross. And you didn't even bother to tell me? What kind of friend are you? I tell you everything, you don't play fair. Oh, I don't want to jump to conclusions straight away. We decided to keep it casual for now. You can't be casual with a man you loved for years. Cross that with the only man you've ever loved. We both know what kind of man Roger is. I am not rushing this until I convince myself he has changed. He won't let you go this time, not after all you've been through. The two of you have unfinished business. Wait, is this another episode story, guys? Like, about Natty and Roger? Oh my god, I have to look into this author. I'm already addicted to her, not gonna lie. Oh, hey bestie, is that a restaurant Elf chef's outfit? Luna? Moonshine. Oh no, I made a cake. No, please don't be. Oh, it's burned. <laughs> Ouch. Oh lord, open the windows. Moonshine, please do me a favor, don't ever cook again. Kian, why don't you appreciate my efforts? I spent all morning looking for a recipe. I've even made it from scratch. I can't believe I forgot about it. That's why we have a cook. Huh? Just tell her what you need and she'll do it for you. You don't understand. I wanted to make it. I think you just wanted to dress up with that charming top. Kian, it's not funny. All the wives cook for their husbands. I suck at it. That you do. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, take that back right now. It's a truth, Moonshine. It's not a big deal. I don't need a wife who can cook me anything. I love you for who you are. You're not like the others. You're unique, my special one. I wanted to surprise you. That you did. Kian, can you stop laughing? I'm upset I've ruined the cake. You don't have to be upset. Come on, let's try another one together. Oh my god, when will you stop making me so happy for your relationship? I can't even. Really? Are you serious? You want to bake a cake with me? If that's what you want, then I'm all in. Hold on a minute. What are you doing? Mom, I need a favor. What's up, sweetie? I need you to tell Jimmy that we want to refurbish our kitchen. Why? Because Key and I are about to destroy it. I don't understand, honey. What's going on? We're about to bake a cake together. Oh, sweetie, I love you both. That's why I'm asking you to stay away from the kitchen before you end up needing a new house. Mom says we're going to end up burning down the whole house. She's joking. We're going to nail it. I guess so. With you by my side, Kian. I have a good feeling inside. Jimmy, get dressed. We're going to go see Luna. Right now? Yes, hurry. 
Mom, we're going to be fine. Don't move, we're coming to you. Mom and Jimmy are coming here. What about the cake? You don't want to know. I'm a good cook, Moonshine. Baby, we're both terrible cooks. Let's wait for mom. I'm not kidding here. Let's get started. Are you sure? Absolutely. Okay. Wait, so is this whole episode about them baking a cake? Because I need to get to Lost in Town. Are you sure we need this much salt? Ooh, I thought it was sugar. No, that's salt. How much did you put? Not much. Let's put more sugar. I'm sure we won't taste the salt that way. Yeah, girl, no. That's not how you bake a cake, guys. Do not add more of something else. Baking is a science. God, you're clever. What else? Here, it says we need one orange. Ooh, an orange. Done. Kian, when you just squeeze the orange, you threw it in whole without peeling the skin. My bad. <laughs> you, you do that. Ugh, I guess he sucks, guys. I thought he was going to surprise us. Okay, what's next? Three tablespoons semi-skim milk. What's a TBSB? I never heard of it. What's funny, Moonshine? I'm trying my best here. <laughs> Short for tablespoon. Oh, okay. I guess whoever wrote this recipe was lazy. Kian, stop making me laugh and read the rest. <laughs> 250 gram packed unsalted butter, softened plus extra for greasing. There's our butter. How much is the extra? Doesn't say. Hmm. But the whole lot. It's better to have more than less. I guess. Our cake's gonna be delicious, guys. That's gonna be a disaster. I cry. Jamie is calling me. He asked me out and I refused. Jamie Pierre asked you out and you refused? Bien hecho. I hate him. We have differences, but I don't hate him. I just don't see him that way, you know? Have you spoken with Roger? Oh, your new bodyguard is coming. He's here. Already? Oh, Cello, what do I say to him? What if... Let me do the talking. Okay. Holy heaven, he's gorgeous. Natty, he's pure perfection. Look at him. Take a good look at him. Where is this dude? Oh, hello. Hello, madam. I'm Samuel Rife Riven. You just called me madam. Do I look that old to you? With all due respect, Mr. Rogers said not to even look at you or else. Ugh, right. Oh, we don't have time for this. Emma needs someone to accompany her to Lostingtown Town for one month. Hmm, I thought he mentioned America. Nobody knows where you are going. This stays between me and Emma. She will pay you as much as you need. Right, I have no interest in talking anyways. I'm here to do my job. Good, good. Emma! Hi, I'm Emma. She's stunning. Don't fall for me, Sam. I'm a taken woman. She's going to make my job hella hard. How do I keep this professional when she looks like a top model? I don't know. I honestly have no idea. She's going to mess with my head because she's perfect, beautiful, smart, and alone. Okay, well, you don't know I'm beautiful. Okay, you know I'm beautiful, but you don't know if I'm perfect or smart. I'm definitely alone though, very lonely. My dad is coming to speak with you. Please don't let him know where we're going. No problem, I've got this. So you want money now or after? After the mission is done. Mission? He's an ex-military guy. Just my luck. I need to buy plane tickets. Do you have much luggage? No, I travel light. Sure. Natty, please don't offer him something to drink. My dad should be here any minute. I need to see Luna before I go. I can drive you to the airport. Okay, bye. Okay, wow, guys. Like, a lot is happening. I, uh, uh, I don't know what to do. What do I want to wear? Alpha 1. Yeah, no thank you. Not a big fan. Alpha 2. Okay, closer. No, alpha two it is. There you go. That's her. Perfect. Are you sure, Miss Emma? You can still change your mind. Shh, Fatima, stop it. Are we all set? Yes, and I'm not going to change my mind. I want this. I want to go to Losting Town. Baron baby, here I come. Oh my god, guys. We are finally going to see our bay. Captain, I have a secluded mission for you. One month. You can take one man with you. Where? Losting Path. 80 kilometers from Losting Town. What for? Mm, 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 mm -hmm. Wow, okay. I see how it is. Okay, so that was it for that chapter. Guys, we are moving through this story. We are going to be on episode 6 of this whole 30 episode story, Insanity. But we still have yet to meet Baron. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below if we should start Mafia's Fallen Angel first and then pick up where we left off with this story or if we should continue this story and then do the prequel Mafia's Fallen Angel. So yeah, please let me know in the comments below. I'm really curious to know your answer because we are going through this experience together. Give this video a huge like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys later. Bye!